So hey guys, welcome back to another interesting podcast. Today we have Adar Sir from Motorola. So if you wants to become a software engineer in Motorola, then this podcast can be for you. अभी तक आप लोग Motorola के फोन यूज करते हो अगर मैं बोलूँ कि यार इस पोस्ट के इस पॉडकास्ट के बाद आपके पास देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ चांसेस कि आप Motorola में एज आ एस डी ई जॉब कर सकते हो और अपने करियर को लाइक बहुत बढ़िया तरीके से ऊपर तक ले जा सकते हो सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट इट Welcome, Adar sir. Thank you for coming. Over to you. Thank you, thank you. And please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Myself, Adar. Currently, I'm software engineer at Motorola, and I did my BTEC from VIT Chennai, the stream of computer science. And on campus, I got placement at Pulse Secure, and Motorola is my first company uh, after my college. So, sir, in Motorola, like when you was giving interview, so which resources you follow? Uh, for preparing the interview. Ah, uh, so like uh, basically first two years of my college, I didn't study much of like ES and all. From yeah. third year onward, started studying. I started preparing for placement. Hmm. So like uh, nothing fancy, just like I started. Uh, basically, I first started with like picking one topic of DSA and then going deep into it, then switching to next topic. But uh, I figure out that I'm not that consistent. Like after every two three days, I used to leave it. So what I did was first I covered uh, basic I studied basic question from most of the topics of DSA so that I have covered almost like seventy to eighty percent of syllabus. Then like slowly, 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 two or three questions a day like that I did either depth. But yeah, so like that only. Nothing very fancy. Then uh, for basic I uh, basic question I did geek for geeks and like it could after covering all my basics. Uh, Uh, even if I didn't study anything, I made sure that I give one lead code contest every day, and mm-hmm. so so that I'm in touch with my teachers. Yeah, that's it. Cool. So, sir, can you if you ha- if you have remembered some questions, can you give some example? Ah, uh, question means interview question. Yeah. Ah, uh, so DSA like Motorola had uh, basically they had three interview rounds, technical interview rounds. Out of which two were DSA based and one was uh, Oops based because mostly for Android so mm-hmm. Oops concept was also passed. So in DSA, what I remember was uh, first round I think uh, both of them were two DSA questions. First question was something related to AI. I don't remember it exactly, but it was kind of a lead code medium question. Wasn't that tough? Mm-hmm. And the second was was something like a sne- related to DP question. uh it's it was kind of similar to like uh, or no, video number of step to reach the first point in the last point of the matrix kind of that mm-hmm. and uh, after that i had to also print the path as well so this two were basically the first round question and uh, in second round i think uh, they asked me like uh, they gave me a story and all that stuff but uh, in short when, once you figure out the question was basically to find a bridge in a graph so mm-hmm. That was uh, the one, and uh, another one. I think the one was related to tree, like uh, something like uh, uh, it's been long. Like, so something. The question was like, uh, uh, if you like put a fire in the leaf node of a tree, then how much time will it take to burn the complete? I think it's in geek for geeks. This question. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this two is the one I remember, and then like some small counter questions on that. Like what is the time complexity of this? Or can you optimize it? And so, like similar. This one was very difficult. Oops, round where uh, basic wasn't that uh, difficult. Like we just uh, made you write a code and just were checking. Do you are you aware of all the concepts of like inheritance, polymorphism, and all that stuff? Yeah, so that oh. was my intent. <clears throat> Sounds good. Cool. And we uh, also had a hacker rank. I forgot actually. So first okay. round, uh, before first round, we had a hacker rank round. Uh, there are two DSA questions in that, and it was like uh, one was medium, and second one was kind of hard because graph coding you need a little bit speed, right? And uh, in around I think thirty to forty five minutes you have to finish both questions. Okay. But uh, so this was a complete uh, intent process. The entire chapter was at the end. Sounds good. And how did you apply? If someone don't know. 
uh, like uh, in Motorola, then that person how can apply in Motorola? Uh, so like I applied one to one of my friends. He applied basically from Nokia.com, and once I joined the uh, Motorola, I figured out that most of the opening that Motorola has. Uh, is they apply to Nokia only? So like most of the hiring that Motorola does is through Nokia. So like if anyone is uh, interested in Motorola, then uh, keep checking your career pages and their career as well as uh, make sure you have a good uh, resume and you updated your profile with Nokia. And also we can find uh, on LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn also there, yeah. but like mostly there. Also, like, okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. And how is the work culture in Motorola? The yeah, work culture is like very good actually. Like mm-hmm. most product based company. So like they trust the employees. So they don't micromanage you. They don't have any in time, out time. So they just expect you that they trust you. So like it gives you also a sense of responsibility that they are trusting you. So you need to finish your work. And like a very, it's very nice. Like the learning is also very good. Plus you don't have that much micromanagement. So, like it enhances the experience. So, let's move on to the next question. So, if someone is fresher, and uh, according to you, he or she uh, prepare for the uh, interview, and uh, that person have opportunity to join Motorola, so how much salary he or she can expect it? Uh, that I'm not sure I'm allowed to reveal, but I will tell you that the figure that is given in Glassdoor and other website are pretty mm-hmm. accurate, like almost accurate, around that. Only. Mm-hmm. So like yeah, the salary you don't have to worry. That I would say. So uh, salary is quite. In the end of the podcast, can you give some advice to our viewers who wants to join Motorola? Uh, not Motorola. I will give generally to like most product based company that you So uh, if you are a college fresher, then mostly what they in, if it's a on campus placement, then mostly what they care for is your DSS skill. They don't care about your project or not. But if you want to apply off campus, right? so your resume also plays a good uh, big part in it. So make sure that you have your resume good because no matter how much DSA you know, unless your resume is shortlisted, you won't get the interview contract. So for the initial screening, the resume plays a lot. But once you get the interview, for a fresher specially, what stands out is your DSA and core skill and your problem solving skills. So it's not that complex. Just study DSA and uh, don't have to be like very excellent project but like decent enough project so that uh, your resume reflects that you have good technical skills yeah so that's it okay nice thank you for your advice and thank you guys uh, if you uh, got some very useful information then kindly do uh, like and subscribe and share with your friends also and thank you so much others sir for coming thank you okay